Hi guys, this is Dementor here. So, I just got my package today from Amazon. It's a laptop that I bought on the Amazon. It's a pretty cheap laptop. It was like $350. So, I'm going to do the unboxing here. It's a quick unboxing. I'm trying to do everything by one hand because I don't have anything to hold my phone with. So, I think I got it. Something from Amazon to contact. So it's in a cheap packaging. It's in a very cheap packaging. Hopefully it has some battery, otherwise I'll have to connect it. So I think it has some kind of cover. Like, I believe it does have some kind of like cover to, um, it's very hard to open with one hand. Okay, here it is. There's the laptop. That cover there. See there, it has that. It's a Ryzen 3. It's the software in it. And right here, it kind of tells you a little bit more about it. It's thin design, aluminum top cover, narrow bezel. Oh, it has the ultra Wi-Fi. If your Wi-Fi, if your router supports it, you have like really fast Wi-Fi speed. It has big viewing angle and HDMI ports. Okay. Oh, too close. Got the wrong one. The one thing I do know about the the screen is that it's not doesn't reflect a lot, so it's very like the screen is not very reflective. Also, the ports on it, it has the jack right there for the auxiliary cable. It has those those USBs and then the HDMI two USBs, the microphone. Oh, this is another one for the microphone. Those are the ports on that side. Here just has the USB and I think that's a, um, I would think that's a um, type C, I don't know what that is, but there's a USB right here. I'm not seeing a USB-C port though, that's weird. No, there's no USB type C input, so that sucks. Okay, so let's open this. Hopefully, it, hopefully I can get it on. If I can figure out how to turn it on. How do I turn it on? Oh, it has those letters right there, very nice. Aspire, oh, it's the Aspire. LEDs right there. I think the keyboard, uh, it lights up the keyboard. Okay, I can't figure out how to turn it on. So, um, oh, here it is. I guess I just have to press it for a while. Hmm, maybe it doesn't have battery at all. Yeah, it might be dead. Anyways, I'm gonna boot this up and everything. And as soon as I get the, everything going, I'll come back and do the uh, do the software review and see what this computer has to offer for such a cheap price. Anyways, guys, so next is going to be my review on this. Episode. Okay, guys, so I've already booted the computer up and everything. So uh, first of all, to turn the computer off and on, you turn it on from this button right here. There's a turn on. Once you plug it in, that will be the, the button to do it. Second. I had some stickers right, I had a sticker right on this corner right here, stickers on here, and I had a sticker right here. I was able to remove them, so they are removable, I pretty, at first I thought they weren't, but they are removable, you're very careful, you'll be, you'll be able to remove the stickers, because they're kind of like annoying. Second, guys, um, well you have to go through all the process, turning on the computer, signing in, everything, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's like very like, simple, when you first start out. 
Alright, so after starting out, guys, the first things I would recommend you to do. I was trying I was investigating some things here. Is first let's look at this computer specs. So um I'm gonna type in um oh yeah about about this computer about your PC right here also guys their keyboards light up as well if you don't like keyboard function off if you want them off the keyboard function the light the, the backlight you can just turn it off from here or you like them on you can just turn it back on anyways we're gonna go through here guys so these are the specs guys so let's say Aspire A1543 that's the what it is it's a 4 gigabyte RAM and I have that's this four gigabyte RAM. That's what it is. But guys, this is expandable um, RAM for the PC, so you can always expand this computer by um, by taking the back back uh, panel out. You can expand that RAM because it's it's expandable to whatever you want it to be. So, and it's a uh, after you when you first start the computer. Um, This is the available. This is the available uh, storage that you have. You have um, about let me see ninety about that much storage, guys. You guys can do the math there. So it's uh, um, so you have ninety gigabytes of storage for free. That's about what you get for free, guys. So guys, the first thing you want to do on a laptop like this when you guys first get it is um. It comes up. This Windows, uh, this Windows laptop comes with the um, new, like um, new um, Microsoft S mode. It's a very stupid, um, stupid software that they put on these laptops. Basically, it doesn't let you install anything from outside the store, outside from the Microsoft store. So, in order to get out of that, guys, it's very simple. You can just either just come here, right here, to the type, and just put. Um, S mode. Just tap S mode, and it's right here, I'll get closer. Right there, guys. You guys can see right here, up here. It says switch out of S mode. You have to, you ha and you will have to install a. a um, you you would have to install it from here, guys. So let me check where it is. Switch to Windows 10 here. Go to right here. This is it. So you have to go to a store, guys. And right here. You see the app switch out of S mode, you install it. And once you do it, it's going to automatically be able to, you'll be able to download anything from this from outside the Microsoft Store. So it says you're, you have submit, okay, so I already switched, so just close tabs. Close that as well. And then, guys, you guys will be able to download anything from the store. So, at the end of the day, I believe this is a pretty good computer, guys. You guys can upgrade the the, the RAM on it up to like 16 gigabytes of RAM. So, for the money, the brightness is very good. I like the brightness on it. I like, um, let me see. The brightness, how I can lower it. That's what the brightness is lowest and then the brightest. So the brightness of the laptop is very nice. I really like it. It's a very nice brightness. I like it. This the um, the screen doesn't reflect as much, so it's very good for outside in the sun. And I really love the keyboard. And guys, for only three hundred dollars, guys, this is a very good looking laptop. Just for three hundred dollars, like three hundred and fifty. So it's a very good laptop. But as you can see, the screen doesn't reflect as much. You see, that's how I like that's how I like the screens to be. Not very effective. But yeah, guys. Anyways, guys. Um, I hope you guys do enjoy this little review of mine. It's not the best, guys. But it's something. About this cheap Amazon uh, laptop that you guys can buy. If you upgrade to the, like, eight, if you only upgrade to 8 gigabyte storage, I believe you can stream through this computer. Like, I don't think this, this is not, like, a very good computer to game on. Unless you upgrade uh, some RAM on it, but I think it will be decent gaming. But definitely for streaming and connecting your phone or another device to your computer to stream the other screen, I think it's very good, guys. So I would definitely, um, definitely 
um, recommend this laptop for any of you all that are interested in buying a laptop, guys, because it's a very cheap model. It's an Amazon, guys. You guys can definitely buy it there. I'll leave the, the link in the description, guys. And, guys, so this is the end of my little review of this Acer Aspire A1543 laptop. Um, so, guys, uh, before I end the video, I have another useful trick for any of you guys. So, um, this is my keyboard here, my always lights on. When you turn on your computer the first time, it's automatically after 30 seconds. If you don't press any keyboard, it will turn off. But there's a small trick on how to always keep it on. If you guys like it, just like me, uh, stay tuned and watch how I do it. So first of all, guys, go here to your, this is an Acer A15-43 uh, um, uh, keyboard, uh, laptop. So what you first do, come here and search uh, Acer. You want to go to the website, guys. You can see it here, I can go to the website, put open. It'll take you to the web website here. I'll just make it big so make it easier. I think, they could, I think the laptop is too bright. I'll bring the light, the brightness a little bit down. Yeah, that are better. Okay. So you get go. You go. You click to the bottom one to get started to take you to the original website from Acer. So you open. The, I'll make it a bit larger. And then from here, guys. You want to go all the way to right here where it says, let me just look for it. Where support? Nope, not that. Where is it at? I have to look for it, guys. Oh, yeah. You go right here. Wait, I make it. You're right here. The products. Give me a minute, guys. I'm gonna have to do this through here. I'm looking at the camera, try to do this. Just give me a minute before I look for it. I think it's uh... okay. So, where you go, guys, you go to support, you go right here to support, and then you, from support, you go down. You go down and support and put drivers and manuals. You click on that. Should take you here, guys. You should right here, guys. You put the serial number of your computer, of your laptop. So I'll put mine. So mine is say, um, say uh, Aspire, Aspire A five fifteen uh, forty three forty three. So, you can see, it's right here, the bottom one. You click that one. You go down, and you click right here where it says bio and firmware. You go down, you download the, la the you down you want to download the latest one, guys. So you press on download, and it should automatically download. I won't download it because I already have a download, but you have to download it. Okay, guys, after you download it, should be saved on your document okay since i had the software already installed on my computer i could not reinstall it again so what you have to do when after you install it the computer will reboot itself and once it's re reboot itself make sure to press f2 once you press f2 you'll get to the screen that you'll see on the next screen or just turn off the computer and right when you turn it back on, just press F2 and it should take you to the screen that pops that I'll show you next. Okay guys, so after a few tries, it was so hard doing it with one hand, I was able to guys. So you, all you have to do is restart your computer, restart it and once it restarts when it's a black screen, you press F2 and keep it pressed until the Acer logo comes on and you let go and it'll take you to this window guys. This is the window will take you. The first thing you want to do is right here. It's um. You want to go right here to the next option, which is main menu, where it says main. So you press the left, the right, the right key with the right uh, button on your keyboard to go there on main. From there, guys, you will want to use the bottom, the bottom, uh, the bottom, like, I don't know what you call it. I'll just do it. I'll just show it. These guys. First one is right. The bottom one. In the bottom one, guys, you guys want to go to down to system, network, boot, 
you want to go right here to where it says keyboard lightning timeout and you see that mine is already disabled because I already have it disabled so when it's already disabled guys you want to come here and press enter and go back to your screen enter and you will have an option to it will it will be on it will be on enabled so you just go up up with this with those little uh, keyboards and push disable and then you press enter and then to save everything guys to save everything you will have to come over here and select F10 guys okay F10 guys you press F10 and this will pop up save current for your changes and you put yes just press enter and it should reboot and your keyboard should stay on that's how you do it guys so I know it got complicated for me at the end but that's how you do it guys anyways I hope that helps you guys bye bye